Welcome back to Primetime News and thanks so much for staying with us. Details are emerging on the circumstances surrounding the brutal murder of a farmer in Hector's River on the border of St. Thomas and Portland. Now, it's believed that the farmer was killed by men who were trying to steal his cattle, but the police say investigations are continuing. Vashon Brown has more. He lives in Hector's River, Portland, but operates a farm just beyond the border in St. Thomas. It's reported that 54-year-old Vivian Johnson came to check on his animals around 9 yesterday morning when he saw two thieves trying to steal them. He was attacked and later shot several times. Commanding officer for the St. Thomas Division, Superintendent Allison Byfield, says the police were alerted. The police responded and they proceeded to the scene where they saw the man lying on the roadway. Appears lifeless. There were several spent casings, and he was bleeding from the head. The attackers escaped. While the police are still investigating, his family members are hurting. Sharon Johnson is Mr. Johnson's ex-wife. She says they shared a close friendship. One thing I know about him is that he was not an aggressor, but he would defend himself. He wouldn't allow himself to be disadvantaged. And I think that was probably... I don't know if it was a weakness, but sometimes it would go against him because he wouldn't just overlook um, persons taking disadvantage. Head of the Pradia Larceny Prevention Unit in the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, Assistant Commissioner of Police Gary Welsh, visited the community on Monday. He argues that the police will not stop the work to reduce cases of farm theft. We have set up units, Pradia Larceny Prevention Units in the divisions, and they are reaping great success. So we are continuing to roll out. Portland is hopefully slated to be one of the next uh, divisions to get a dedicated unit for this particular cause. We have a dedicated unit in St. Thomas. Based on a conversation earlier today with the Golden Grove Police, uh, there is a downturn in the number of incidents and we want to commend the police for, for that. Now the process has started to secure the rest of the animals following yesterday's deadly incident. Meanwhile, the police say there is an emerging trend. The criminals are now coming armed and prepared for confrontation. Uh, we continue to suggest to farmers that they build their capacity to protect themselves uh, lawfully. Uh, against any such attacks. At this stage of the investigation, the police say they are unable to say whether any of the animals were stolen, and if so, how many? Vashon Brown, TVJ News.